Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. This is Episode 8. Last time we landed on Dantooine and we are about to enter the Enclave sub-level, uh, which I believe is a new area compared to the first game as the entrance to the original section of Dantooine uh, is blocked off. Uh, so we're going to go down to the, to the sub-level. Uh, we've got quite a few things to have to have a look at. We're searching for Master Vrook uh, first and foremost, but there is also chances for us to uh, improve the Jedi's reputation on Dantooine as well. So we'll have to see. Uh, uh, have to see how we do. We've got Handmaiden uh, in our team along with Kriya, uh, and we're all having a great time with our with our swords and uh, Handmaiden's double jewel staff thingy that retracts and she's got great abilities and I'm I'm liking this liking this team set up at the moment we'll see if uh we're gonna we're gonna see if we get any anything more out of handmaiden um for now we're just we're just kind of getting to just kind of getting to know her especially using her in the in the party some more but I I think we'll we'll try and make a very conceited effort to uh to use the full squad, because I think every single character, which is actually quite nice, is every single character has uh, a lot to bring to the table. I think um, a lot of a lot of cool things. I like the uh, I like how every time we get a new party member, they have like a very like they have a unique uh, like innate ability uh, that like can help with with combat, like with Kriya and our character. How it, you know we have like the force bond and stuff, and Atten has the I have a bad feeling about this, you know, sort of thing, and then. Uh, we've got Baldur, who's uh, who's punching shields like no tomorrow. He's punching shields like no tomorrow, you know. And we needed his help. We needed his help to do that. And you know who didn't have a problem with us getting help? Kriya. A little bit hypocritical there, Kriya. Remember when Baldur? Remember when we needed his help to punch some shields, and you didn't have a problem with it because it served your best interests? I remember. I remember. Let's go down to the Enclave sub level. And we'll see if Kriya can try and convince us to help people, to not help people, once again. <laughs> uh, journal entry added. Uh, I think that was that was relics of the past. We have entered the Jedi Enclave sublevel. Thank you, journal. It's uh, it's let us know. Now this is cool because this is an opportunity for some brand new stuff in the Jedi Enclave. Um, interestingly enough. Not necessarily damaged, and is that a skylight? For a sub-level? Okay. I won't question it. I won't question it. Oh yes, and the and the the Ligrex. That's right. They they also are a thing that exist. So let's let's mess up these bug looking things. Cause this looks like a bug looking thing. Star Wars alien bug looking ass. There we go, nice. Problem dealt with. Nice. And we've got and we've got skeletons. There's a lot of there's a lot of chairs in this uh in this enclave sublevel. This is a, this is a big room. This is a big briefing room. Okay. Okay, so I feel like we're gonna be just really wiping out these bugs for a while. I think that it's we should be fine to just kind of let out let our team do do some cool stuff. I think I'll um I think I'll try and um I think I'll just I'll just let Korea you know do her own thing because I think the character the characters are pretty good at doing their own special abilities and I think whenever I start controlling them. They just default to doing the, um... Someone out there? Anybody? Help! Legrix are everywhere! Help me! I'm trapped in here! I'll get you out, buddy. Uh, yeah, when I... When I take over them, they just do their normal attacks. But outside of that, they seem to be pretty good at doing their own abilities and stuff. So I think I take control of Kriya when I specifically want her to do, like, Force Lightning, especially. But there we go. Why is that a lie? The Ligrex, at least in our direct vicinity, are dead. Are you Jiran? Yes, 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 I am. That's I a lie. I in here. I thought I was gonna be Ligrex compost. Did you take care of him, stranger? That was a lie, bro. He's like, yeah, sure. 
There are still some Ligrex around. Please, take care of them. I can't stand much more of this. If you do manage to clear a path, please come back. Please come back. All right, there's a locked door there. We'll keep that in mind, and uh, we'll go. This shall not stop us for long. Okay, and we'll go fuck up some of these bad boys. This will teach you. This will teach you. <laughs> Let us end this. Yeah, handmaiden Loki, just just big damage dealer. Handmaiden's just she's she's got the goods. Nice. Door unlocked. Damn, mu music's just booming us through this right now, which is which is cool. Oh, oh shit. Um, hang on. You get in. No, get away from the. Okay. Mm. I'm scared to. Mm. I can't even target the the. This is this is funny. I can't even target the. <laughs> oh, I can't even target the actual enemy. It just wants to target the mine. Okay. Okay. There we go. Items received. Dead salvager. Journal entry added. Ghost's arrest bonus mission. You found a body of a salvager in the Enclave ruins. Perhaps someone in the salvager camp would know who this poor fellow was. Oh, I've, I've picked up... I've picked up the body. <laughs> that, that music, how I, how the combat music ends each time, it's almost a little obnoxious. <laughs> it's like, get out! Do! Every time. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Combat has ceased. Alright, let's have a look. Mapping out this area. Uh, we could probably go back to that locked door now. Hang on, what is happening here? I expected to walk through here, but I am not. Oh, there we go. Okay. No worries then. That was, uh, just pretend that that didn't happen. <laughs> I was like, I was like, is this, is there supposed to be a door here and it's, and it's actually not there? Handman. God damn. Wanna win a battle? Bring Handmaiden with you. Good shit. I'm trying to figure out the purpose of these circular rooms. Da -da -da! Like, it's got such a triumphant ending to the combat music every time. <laughs> I have actually turned down the volume in my headphones because of it, so I can actually hear myself speak. <laughs> That's funny. It's funny. Like, it is, at its core, uh, Star Wars music, which is very good. I love the soundtracks. I just find it humorous. Probably not huge, a, a massive fan of this combat music specifically, but it is very Star Wars-y. But that's the thing. When you're watching a Star Wars movie, you know, hang on. Unless there's still enemies. There you go. It wraps up. Because um, when you're in a... Obviously when you're watching a Star Wars movie, it generally only plays like... Uh, it doesn't really repeat the music. So it never really affects you in the same way that it would in a video game. You know? Now... Haha! <laughs> you know what I'm going to remember that we can do? I got this bad boy. Let's go! Yeah. You proud of me? You proud of me? That's right. I got a plasma torch. Instantly open my doors. That's right. Locked door. Yo, a whole bunch of protocol droids. Okay. Hello. Uh, how many repair? Oh, tw Twenty-three repair parts. Okay. Can we just mate a mass an army of protocol droids right now? Hang on. Let's have a look. Computer panel, droid bay terminal. Access the work log. View the pending work log. Page one of three, task 1046A, head technician Durger Chester. Durgar Chester. I can't believe Zerka Corp released a new protocol droid model with so many flaws. The batch we ordered last month have all fried out from overheating. The Zerka rep said the droid was designed for temperature controlled environments such as starships, but I don't buy it. 
The real problem is that the Sith Cursed Power Cell of the new model... The Sith Cursed Power Cell of the new model runs too hot, and worse, the output modulator was installed right next to the cell and is the first thing to get melted into slag when the cell overheats. Needless to say, without a functioning output modulator, you could jostle the droid and it would pop like fireworks on Republic Day. Okay, I'm assuming we would repair a protocol droid and turn it into a walking explosive, right? So I'm working with the Zerka rep to get these defective droids replaced. In the meantime, I've powered them down so that they don't cause any more accidents. Okay, so you, can, you might repair it, and then it'll just blow up in your face, maybe. Uh, view prior work logs. Archived work logs. Connection failed. Please verify that the main computer is active. Contact the head technician to resolve this issue. We need to find a main computer. Okay. Locate camera control. Let's have a look. Local camera control. Droid bay entrance. Nice. Southeast common room. Southeast hall. Camera offline. Southeast Hall, Ligrec, Power Relay Station, okay, uh, and okay, so Southeast Hall North is the only one that has a camera offline, interesting, gotcha, I'm gonna leave these droids alone, just in case they blow up in my face, this broken droid however, will give me some items, Correction, broken droids uh, will give me some items, nice. Okay. Might use this workbench in a bit, we'll see. Can I get this locker open? Yes, I can. Awesome. Alright, we'll put a pin in this droid room for now. Just in case I end up blowing myself up. Why can't I target my... There we go. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, excuse me, sir. Okay. 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 My my character is okay. okay. This will teach you. <laughs> okay. I'll just leave it up to my companions because they <laughs> they just what are they doing? Let's go, dude. Killing bugs. I gotta level up, so I'll, I'll do that. Two other points. Um, you know what? I think I want to. Because it's not a cross class skill, I'm gonna just put some my leftover points in my computer use because I like being able to. You know, just in case I don't have a character with computer skill with me. You know what? Like, you know, not like right now, because I can switch party members at will right now. But it's like, if I was the only character, or if I'm in a situation where I can't, or a character's away, I want to be able to still be able to use a computer on my own, you know? Um, but at least I can, you know, we for the most part, we can just switch weapons on the fly, on the fly which is good. Uh, I can do Master Dueling, but I was thinking of... I'm pretty sure what I wanted to do was be able to go for Jewel Strike because teamwork to defeat enemies, so there'll be a plus two bonus to hit. This one gives a plus three to attack and plus three to defense, though, uh, which is probably a good idea because we're very dexterous, so we already have a decent chance to hit already due to having melee finesse on as well. We have for Master Dueling. Master Dueling. And we've got Force Channel. We've just got given Force Channel. Um, I, I can he see it though. I, I'll, I'll look for that after. But I do have the ability to destroy droid. I think that's the one that I wanted to do next because we gave ourselves the ability to do improved heal. Master healing, huh? All right, we'll go for destroy droid and accept now. What was that about a force power? What was that about a force power? Where, where do I find this? Where do I find this power? There it is. Force channel involves... Oh, it's a force form. Okay, so we've got our two lightsaber forms and we've got force channel. 
It involves standard meditation techniques that all Jedi learn through their training. The effects of this force form are FP regeneration in non-combat, force power damage, and saves versus force powers. Not bad, so I think... Yeah, that's sitting right there. Cool. We'll uh, keep that one handy when um, when we probably go up against some... When we probably go up against some force users. Because we'll get, a, we'll get some saves against their force powers. Nice. I've got the music, the combat music ending while simultaneously repeating itself. That's funny. It like played the ending part. Nice. Oh, there's a lot of them. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of them. This will teach you. Yes. Come on, Kriya. Get 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 your butt in get, get your butt in here. Ready. I need a hand, singular. I will silence this one. I will silence this one. Oh, there she goes. She heard the call to war. <laughs> Off she goes, dude. <laughs> uh, these deadly Ligrex ain't so deadly. They're like puppies. They're like little puppies. Let us test ourselves. Let us test ourselves. They just okay. All right, come on, guys. Do you do your cool stuff. Do your flashy moves. Thank you. All right, let's have a look at this. Can I interact? That panel is obviously busted. There's a yep. Just a bunch of busted panels in here. There's a computer panel. Fix the computer terminal. Let's let's go. Let's do that. Computer is now functioning. Is this the main computer or just a computer? Mainframe terminal. Nice. Access the work log. Data corruption. Please contact head technician. Okay. Well, I think now we can go back to the old one, right? Because this is the mainframe terminal. System commands. Mainframe disconnected from children. I'm assuming. Um, Main chain, mainframe disconnected from like children terminals or whatever or something maybe okay then in that case maybe we need to do more before we can uh... strange okay what was the point of me even repairing that because <laughs> uh, maybe I can go back to the old I think I might be able to go back to the old terminal now in the droid repair bay open sesame let's go and we just got more of these things. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think it is it the it must be the next uh the next tier of lightning, right? That like actually does multiple opponents? Or am I imagining things? I always like it when we've got our attacks that like affect multiple enemies at once, which is always battle. good. Let us end this. Oh, off they go. Yeah, this is a this is a pretty this is a pretty large area, dude. This is a pretty large oh, area. Did Kriya just Oh no. A challenge. I just thought I watched all of its health disappear there. Kriya just jabbed it. No. Just put it into a fear like state. Okay, we can go over this side as well. Sorry, handmaiden, you you can't even get into the fight. This will teach you. Thank you. There you go. I was, I was holding her back. Ooh, hang on. We've got another terminal and a data pad. I think I'm slowly going insane. I think... Korea, I love you, baby. I love you for your just headstrong attitude. Uh, I think I'm going insane. This battle music is, is drilled into my mind. It has wormed its way into the very recesses of my soul. <laughs> and it is corrupting me. Oh! 
Oh! I was not even looking at health because we just we've been just breezing. Oh shit! All right, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Let me just quickly let me just pop a heal real quick. Handmaiden's doing fine. Handmaiden is not struggling. However, the force users here for shame. Don't even know how to kill these Ligrex. Kriya's dead. Not the first time. She was dead at the start of the game. Somehow, Kriya returned. I don't know what the hell happened. Ah, th oh, it would have been the mine. It would have been the mine, right? <laughs> hey, Kriya. Hey, Kriya, wake up. They were teaching us to run right into mines, huh? Yeah, you fucking idiot. Alright. Let's let's heal. Let's get some Ah, oh, Kriya just leveled up. Perfect timing. It's almost as if you timed it. What is it? I'm trying to level you up by pressing the button. Alright. Attributes. Nice. Now. Strength of ten. I think that we should Hey uh you want a bit you want a bit more constitution? You want a bit more constitution? You might need a little bit more health there. You know? Have you have you thought about that? Maybe. There you go. Uh, master Force Focus. Hopefully it'll allow you to focus on not running through explosives. Okay. Might also just give you Master Dueling as well. I mean, just seems to be useful. We're all melee wielders here in this place. Uh, may as well just seek to be more powerful with the melee weapons, you know. You've also got Force Channel, which is great. Damn! Kriya's already hitting Insanity and Kill! Didn't, like... Okay, character level 18 for Force Storm. That makes sense. I was pretty sure... When did Ins... I think Insanity was a higher level in the original game. And Plague? I'm pretty sure they were, they were higher. Damn. Alright, we can go straight for Insanity or even Kill. The target's a choke for 6 seconds and it inflicts damage close to half of the target's maximum vitality points. They make a Fortitude save... Versus a DC plus the attacking character's level. They will. S okay. Okay. Do we want to go for. Hmm. Hmm. Korea. What do we want to do? What do we want to do, honey? Let's let's give you the ability to kill instead of insanity. No, actually, because this does a, an enemy force, doesn't it? It's a 10 meter radius. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Actually, you've got two powers. You can have both. You get an insanity, and you get a kill. You get them both. Oh, Kriya. Oh, Kriya. Crazy. Crazy Kriya. All right. Um, what would you like? What would you like? I'm going to give you constitution, just because that will go up to a plus three. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. Skills, awareness. Oh yeah, you only have one skill point. You have one skill point, not many. Uh, and feats. Now, Handmaiden's got her shit locked in, dude. Like locked in. Max toughness, max master two weapon fighting. I reckon we could go for melee focus, which is plus one attack bonus, or another plus two bonus to hit. On dual strike. Improved dual strike. Plus four bonus to hit. Go. Go, my warrior. Hardcore. Why don't you have your helmet on in the level up screen? That's a cool detail. I guess it just removes it. Nice. Alright. Computer power. Uh, hang on. Your computer use is, is nothing. Get, get, get out of here. Get out of here. Allow me, I've got a computer skill of two. No, actually four, because I guess I've got a buff on somewhere. Access work log. Power relay. Ah, oh, the power relay station. Okay, let's have a look. Work log. Prior work logs. Accessing after connection failed. Okay, the main computer is actually. Okay, that was not the main computer. That was the main frame. There is a difference. Gosh, guys, there's a difference. Return to main. Storage room door. Security door is non-responsive. That's fine. I will break it open. All, right, all of these terminals really... Ooh. Ooh. Hang on a minute. 
the Oh, these are different cameras. These are ah, uh -huh. Okay. Cuz I was waiting for one of them to be offline and it wasn't different ones. All right, there was a security door. Okay, actually I can't. All right. I need to get the main computer on. We can't break open the door. Did you guys like that? Did you guys think that was cool? <laughs> Just standing so close to the stupid mines. Storage room. This journal was found near the Nord clean skeleton of a salvager. The last entry is of interest. I made it farther into the enclave than any other salvager. I've discovered an untouched storage room. The computer in the power relay station should allow me to open the security door once I figure out how to sneak past the Ligrex that have made a nest there. I will leave Dantooine rich. Hell yeah, bud. Hell yeah, bud. Get rich or die trying. We know how that turned out. Yeah, these, these Ligrex. You'd have to be a pretty bad scavenger to, to die to some Ligrex. Or go face first into a plasma mine. Depending. Alright, we got this. Okay, now we're just curling around to this side. Yeah, honestly, as soon as everyone starts attacking one target, it does not live there. Salvager Corpse. We found a will on this salvager. The will states that all of his possessions are to be left to the other dead salvager you found. <laughs> you can tamper with the will to the... <laughs> Why does it matter? Just take the stuff. Oh my god. You can tamper with the will so that all of the salvager's possessions go to you. Yeah, look, I spoke to the other guy and he said it was okay. <laughs> Did this is Salvager's will fake? What the fuck? Uh, this data pad has the will of the dead Salvager. It is badly misspelled. It used to indicate that if he died, his possessions would go to the other Salvager that ventured into the sublevels with him. Now it says his possessions should go to you. Cool. Um, what did we get? <laughs> You slice the will to indicate the salvager left his possessions to you. Oh, I think that means if we take this to... Oh, that makes sense. If, I, if we take it back to the salvager camp, we'd be like, Hey, this salvager? Old buddy of mine. He left me all his stuff. That makes sense. Fallen. I thought I was lit I thought he meant as in, like, just possessions that were, like, currently on his person. And I was like... I don't know why we're doing this right now, but it does make more sense that maybe, maybe he'd have a house or something. Maybe he'd have a house and now we own it. That's right. So, so far we're just, I'm just mapping out this area. Killing bugs. Security failure. That's what I thought. Dana! Fucking. <laughs> oh my god. It's just like that part is so much louder than the rest as well. That's why it stands out. Alright, before we go through that room. Bam! I didn't even make a sound. Stealth. This will teach you. Where's Kriya at? <laughs> you cold? <laughs> what are you doing over there? Nice. R Look at that freeze frame. That's sick. <laughs> What's Handmaiden doing? <laughs> this is almost an epic action shot, but Handmaiden had to ruin it with whatever the hell was going on there. Nice. Ooh. Someone's already looted this place, so we can only we can loot some of them. Targeting visor. Boop. 
heavy combat suit and some chemicals. Alright. Cool. So that is the complete... No, it is not. It is almost the complete loop-de-loop -loop of the whole place. We still got more of these bad boys. I shall honor them with battle. These are all not working terminals. Okay, that was just the other side of that door. Okay. And then there is a... Another thing. Over here. Oh shit. Okay. Just a dude chilling. Night! Those mines go. Then we'll explore this center area as well, because I'm assuming that if there's going to be a main computer, it might be in the center area. Hold on, team. Locked door. Assumedly, the computer will open it. I'm going insane. I think that's where. And it's not and it's not due to the Ligrex. The Ligrex are just they're great. They are just chilling. They they're trying they're trying their best. Focus. The true enemy the true enemy is this is this battle theme. Yes, nice. Alright, well done, team. Love your work. What's in this footlocker? Turns out... No main computer here. Oh, God. Oh, God! There's just a few of them. Uh, Kriya, do that thing you do. Do that thing you do! Yes. Yeah! There we go, baby! Alright, you can cancel your abilities now. You don't need to do that. It worked. It worked! Nice. Cower in fear, bugs. For we will slowly and eventually deal with you. This will teach you. Nice. Whoa, hello! My leg Rex! You've killed him! They're my pets! Uh, excuse me? <laughs> they were not friendly, okay? You know? They, they didn't have a collar on, they weren't microchipped, like, I don't know what you've, I don't know what you have to say. You've got a lightsaber there. I want it. Are you the thief that Sulru was complaining about? I'm not a thief. People give to the Jedi in exchange for service. They were just giving. Why did you... Y your, your pets are killing people. They only attack the bad people. The salvagers, the thieves. This place is for Jedi. They aren't Jedi, they have to leave. The salvagers. <laughs> the salvagers. <laughs> Awareness. I sense you have a connection to the Force. It's definitely not that lightsaber or that Jedi robe or anything, but... I am a Padawan. And one day, one day I will learn enough to be a Jedi. This is like... Some of the most terrible voice acting I've ever heard. I am a Padawan. <laughs> How did a Padawan wind up here? I was studying here when Darth Malak and the Sith came. I was outside the Enclave when my master left me at the Madalay estate. Shen protected me. But the Sith came asking questions of all the Madalays died. But I hid. Even when the estate was burning, I hid. So I hide. I'm hiding until my master returns. Okay. Uh, these are difficult times. I was a Jedi once as well. You were? I, I had no idea. You aren't anymore? Are there any Jedi left? There are Jedi around. They're just in hiding. They are like me. 
I thought he was alone. Are there any masters? Uh, someone named Vrook came here not too long ago. I remember him. I sent my leg wrecks to get him to leave. But he just made my pets... stop. I was going to talk to him, but the mercenaries came for him. They never come down here. I was surprised and hid. There was a big fight. They said they were going to take him someplace. Let me try to remember. The Kinrath Cave, yes. That's what they said. Okay, Vrook's at the Kinrath Cave. About stealing. I... I know that that was wrong. I'll stop. I was just trying to get enough credits to eat. But I'll... think of something else. Something that doesn't hurt anyone. Okay. I'm a Jedi and could use any artifacts you found, even though I literally just told you two seconds ago that I am no longer a Jedi, but please forget what you heard. I found some things. I don't know how to use them. Here, you can have them. I had a holocron, but it said terrible things. I threw it far away. Okay, uh, what did it say? It told me the Jedi were no more, that I needed to survive and do anything to protect my home. Was it a Sith holocron? Holocrons can be dangerous. There are bad holocron? I thought it was a dead Jedi master trying to help me. He sounded so reasonable. Listen to your master's lessons, not the holocron. The holocron was more forceful the longer I learned. It frightened me. Sith holocron did. Where is the holocron now? I threw it into the ruins. I, I went back to find it, but the salvager stole it. It was my only teacher. Okay. <laughs> I tire of this. You're too weak to be allowed to live. <laughs> what are you going to do now? I... I don't know. I'll try to find a master to teach me. There have to be some left. I'm not going to use the force until I find one. So much has gone wrong. Should I feel bad that I feel better? But I still need to find a master. The lessons I learned, I think I need to unlearn them. Unlearn what you have learned. Oh my god. She just said Wong. <laughs> what? So much has gone wrong. They didn't get her to redo some of these takes, man. <laughs> May the force be with you. And please, get out of my sight. And also with you. Thank you. May the force of others be with you. Goodbye. Oh, I got, I got an emitter and a, and a emitter fixture. See how they were, they were for sale and I was like... We're going to a Jedi Enclave. I'm not going to buy these items because we may find them. Yes. Journal entry added. Uh, Lost in the Shadows, the former Padawan, KV, told you that she saw Master Vrook in the sub-level, but he was attacked by mercenaries. They said they were taking him to the Kinrath Cave. You found the thief. She's a former Padawan from the Jedi Enclave. You convinced her to stop the thefts. And crafting a lightsaber... Uh, we have some more upgrades, so there you go. Uh, thief catching apparently... Off she goes! Uh, thief catching, apparently, um, is not a completed quest, which means there may be more to that. I don't know. Ah, makes sense why this door was locked. That's where you came from. You were chilling in here. There you go. Uh, so there was a Padawan. Uh, thank God uh, she's going off to go and forge her own path, because, um, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Well, they really captured the essence of a, of a scared little Padawan, so I guess it's it's realistic in that sense. So, we have uh, the main computer panel is there, and then the Jedi Archive. Okay, so we're going to the main computer panel. Damn, I was already in that room? Storage, power relay station, droid bay, workbench. Okay. Let's head over to head back over to right to the end, because that's actually the main computer that I need. That'll probably help us connect all the terminals together again and then get our um uh, get into that storage room. Speed, please! So we're navigating these hallways too slowly. Handmaiden will catch up eventually. Okay. 
so the Jedi archives are here as well so if Rook's not even here he's just he got beaten by mercenaries no it is this okay no this is the main co computer what the fuck yeah okay so this is main computer panel this is the main one why can't I mainframe disconnect okay hmm so because the mainframe is disconnected, all right, maybe the answer lies within the actual um, Jedi Archive, potentially. Maybe. Let's see. Security door. Whoa, hello, and there's another one here. You've got, a, we've got a disciple. Hello. Your arrival is fortunate. I was just running out of food supplies and wondering what Legrec meat would taste like. Uh, who are you? I am an historian and scientist working for the Republic, and a self-styled disciple of knowledge. If I may ask, what brings you to these ruins? There's some dead mercenaries behind you. You, you combat capable? I'm searching for Jedi. Then it would appear we have similar goals. Perhaps we can benefit from sharing information. Feel free to ask me whatever you wish. Why are you here? I was trapped in this room by Legrex. I can handle one or two alone, but they came at me in a large group. I don't know why they are massing in the Enclave. I'm concerned that they may have been drawn here by some disturbance. Okay. Awareness, that's not the only reason. The other reason was the ruins of the Jedi Enclave. And once I arrived, I felt it was necessary to stay. To protect what was left. Left? Much had been taken from the Enclave, both by raiders and others. I wished to preserve what I could. Oh, that's cool. Because this, mo this game came out after Attack of the Clones, when we actually got to see um, sections of the Jedi Temple that had, like, the library and stuff. You can see that, like, the, the shelves off in the distance ca have that same sort of style and aesthetic of the... Uh, of the Jedi Temple's library um, on Coruscant, which is cool. What others? Many artifacts were taken from the Enclave, but these thefts, they had to have been done by someone who knew the Enclave well. I suspect the Jedi themselves took the holocrons and records, but I do not know why. I think you underestimate the ingenuity of salvagers. Even the Jedi cannot protect their secrets from those clever or persistent enough. Besides, the Jedi who knew the Enclave are mostly perished, and the ones who survived would not steal from this place. It was my mistake to use the term thefts. I apologize. In any case, if Jedi did take things, for the sake of preservation, of course, then they left no clue as to where they may have taken them. You mentioned holocrons. Someone has been taking holocrons from sites across the galaxy. It is almost as if someone does not want their knowledge used to find the Jedi. The situation on Dantooine is echoed in other places in the galaxy. Raiders, smugglers, all seek to plunder what remains of the Jedi. And even the Sith. More so than the Jedi themselves, I fear the loss of their history. Why is that? Much has been forgotten in recent wars, and I fear that greater troubles shall stem from that loss of knowledge in the future. The destruction of the Academy on Osus near the Kron Drift in the Sith War. The teachings of Master Arca. The adventures of Jolie Bindo on the Rimward missions. All of these things are in danger of being lost forever. What else would you like to know? Jolie, my boy. You mentioned holocrons is what we said. Do you know what happened to the Jedi? No. It is something of a mystery why they would exile themselves as they have. It is not the way of the Jedi to vanish in such a way. Especially when the Republic is in need of them. I fear that there is something else at work. Something that we cannot see. Then again, perhaps the Jedi are hiding simply because so many people hate them these days. The Shroud of the Dark Side has fallen. Why do you think people hate the Jedi? It is difficult sometimes for the Jedi to see such things, since much of it is rooted in human nature, and the Jedi are often removed from events of daily life. Insulated. But the reason the Jedi Civil War was named such was because few in the galaxy can recognize the difference between the Sith and the Jedi. To them, they are both Jedi with different philosophies. I love that. That's a great statement because um, 
yeah, to the everyday person in the galaxy, they're like, fuck, man, these are crazy wizards just throwing around their lightning and their laser swords, and they're just, fuck, they're just doing stuff. <laughs> you know? They're just the same, but with different philosophies. But Jedi have protected the galaxy for centuries. They seek peace, often through sacrifice. Not always. Jedi often fall. They cause much harm on Onderon, for example, in the name of peace and protection. Uleg Keldroma and Exar Kun, the two Dark Lords during the Sith War many decades ago, were once Jedi Knights, as were Revan and Malak. It is perhaps more amazing that some still trust Jedi after many have fallen and endangered the galaxy. It is also proof that a single Force wielder can change the face of the galaxy. And that is a frightening thing indeed. It's true, there's so many just singular people that are like the key component of massive shifts in the galaxy's, uh, you know, the power. The, uh, the control in the galaxy. Do you hate the Jedi? Hate? No. I do not hate them. They only raise questions without answers. Jedi are not supposed to be like the rest of us. They are supposed to see a higher purpose in all things. And... They are supposed to train students responsibly and well, so mistakes of the past are not repeated. Yet all I saw was ignorance and arrogance, and what those seeds created in the Republic. It is difficult to follow the Jedi Code when so few others have, but you know this. What do you mean? Many Jedi defy the Order during the Mandalorian Wars, and it paved the way for the Jedi Civil War. Do you blame the Jedi who turned, or the Council? There is no blame. All must accept. But, at its core, one must wonder if it was the failure of the Jedi teachings or the teachers themselves. Many of the Jedi Council trained Exar Kun, Ulik, Revan, and Malak. How could they not see the danger they posed? And if they could not, perhaps there was some essential part of their teachings that was flawed. Something beyond the Jedi Code that they were missing. Mm-hmm. That is correct. Revan and Malak would have received the same training as I did. I am not certain you understand what happened with Revan. Do you wish me to explain? Ooh, interesting. That's cool. Um, but also, you know, you can't apply the same training regiment to every single person. You adapt it to who they are, and you need to accommodate that. You can't just be like, here, this is... Everything, unless it's like something, uh, you know, when, it, when it's a when it's a training in something that's mystical. Revan was captured in the middle of the Jedi Civil War. I actually pressed a button. No small part to his apprentice Malak, who turned on him. Revan was brought before the Jedi Council and put on trial. You must understand that the situation was desperate, and the Jedi needed to know how Revan had amassed the forces arrayed against them. As I understand it, they were able to convince Revan to have a change of heart. Revan helped the Republic defeat Malak. Perhaps in his conversation with the Jedi Masters, they were able to convince him of the rightness of their actions. Cool. Sorry, I, actually, I literally just put my hand down and pressed enter, and it just went. <laughs> um, it's not when you're learning about something mystical and magical. It's, that's a little bit different. It's like everyone has different capabilities and like uh, skill ceilings, you know, to push through and stuff. Like... Uh, an example that can pop into my head is like the the ability to some people are a lot more potent in their their ability for example if we go into like Doctor Strange as like an example and and his you know ability to become Sorcerer Supreme and um, brute forcing his way through a lot of the study that would normally take other people many many years to do so you can't just apply the same thing to to people across the board so it's like oh the same people who like you know i was trained the same way as revan and malik but it's like that can still make a huge difference it doesn't mean you'll turn out exactly the same way so we're getting our correct you know recount on revan and what happened do you know who trained revan revan had many masters czar dorak master k before k left for the wars towards the end of his training he sought out many to learn techniques it is said that he returned to his first master at the end of his training in order to learn how he might best leave the Order. Damn, okay. Zar and Dorak um, were on the council on Tantooine. I don't recognize the, the last name, though, so I think that, that might be a different one, but Revan and Malak. Okay. 
He returned to his first master at the end of his training to learn how he might best leave the order. Interesting. I want to talk about something else. What else would you like to know? Uh, tell me about the Republic. I do not know if you are aware of how fragile the Republic is at the moment. Its influence is stretched thin, and it grows weaker with time. What happened? The Jedi Civil War brought much suffering to the galaxy, and the forces that Malak and Revan amassed against us seemed limitless. Many worlds were destroyed, trade routes disrupted, and the Republic fleet was almost decimated. While it is said that Revan and several Republic heroes and Jedi defeated Malak, in many ways Malak had already won. Malak did some big damage to the galaxy, you are correct. What do you mean? The war was costly, and it shattered the Republic. In time, the Republic might recover, but if a threat strikes now, if certain key worlds are not held, then the Republic will collapse. What else would you like to know? Uh, you look familiar to me. I imagine in your travels of the galaxy you've seen many people. Faces tend to blur together after a time. What else would you like to know? <laughs> My favorite thing about that is like, is that the game, is that a cheeky dialogue line being like, look, you might see some of the same faces. We are in a video game and default male character face three is out there somewhere. You know, you might see him a few times. It's just part of the process. A big galaxy. <laughs> Uh, so I wonder if that's him being like, you've probably seen my face on another character model before, although I don't think we have, so I'm not sure. Uh, I guess I'll be going now. I guess I, I won't ask... Um, oh, hang on. I think, why do you work for the Republic? Is, is one that we didn't ask. Hold on. I'm trying to save the Republic. Dantooine and the Jedi Order are instrumental to that effort. Despite the troubles of the Jedi Civil War, there are those among the Republic who still favor the Jedi and wish them to return. And there are admirals within the fleet, who recognize that the Jedi must be found if the Republic is to hold together. Yet as long as Onderon remains within the Republic, and the efforts on Tilo succeed, that is all that matters. Why Telos and Onderon? The Republic is fragile right now. Telos is important because its success will determine whether or not the other dead worlds receive the same reconstruction efforts. If Telos is rebuilt and made habitable again, it will affect a string of worlds along the rim. And Onderon? Onderon, strangely enough, was unaffected by the Jedi Civil War. It's almost as if Revan didn't want to attack it. Its resources and position on the rim make it a vital supply line and guard post against outer rim attacks. Also, it's the only world in the Republic still capable of seeding ecosystems into other dead worlds. Onderon's wildlife is some of the most aggressive in the known galaxy. Merely placing some of those beasts on target worlds will guarantee their habitation for years to come. Why... why are the Jedi Order important? Should it, should it be, why is the Jedi Order important? Like, you would say, why are the Jedi important? But, because that's like, you know, a group. But then you would say, why is the Jedi Order important? Because that's like, a name of a... Okay. Why is the Jedi Order important? The Jedi are a symbol. As much damage as their reputation took during the Sith War and the Jedi Civil War, there are still many who they serve as an example. Plus, there have been times in the past where a single Jedi has been enough to change the face of a world. Or a galaxy. I suppose I still believe that might be possible. Despite the betrayal of many of the Jedi against the Republic, I must concede that as figureheads, they do serve a vital role. Okay. What else would you like to know? Um, and... Holocrons are still there, but we already went through the Holocron stuff. Someone has been taking the situ- More- Yeah. What else would- I'll be going now. Before you go, I had a question for you. You came to Dantooine in search of Jedi. Why? Interesting that the first option is about severing the Force Bond. The Sith are awake in the galaxy, and I'm going to need their help to stop them, is probably, is, seems, is, yeah. If the Sith are rising in the galaxy again, then it is strange the Jedi would not be there to meet them, and that we have not seen more evidence of the Sith. It, it, yeah, like, it's true, though, like, we've got, like, we've, we had, uh, a bunch of the Sith being invisible assassins, 
Um, Darth Sion chilling on the ship. Uh, then on another ship somewhere, Darth Nihilus and someone else. And then... Um, then we had the scene that uh, Kreia explained to us about, you know, her get, uh, getting goddamn beat down by Darth Sion while uh, Nihilus watched. And that's all, that's all we know so far. There's no like we, and then we've seen a couple of Sith Sith uh, soldiers when we were escaping Paragus, but no like Sith Empire type thing. Like when we've been going to, you go to a planet and you just have a bunch of Sith running around. But the Sith are out there. They've been hounding me since Paragus. Luckily, they held off while I restored the the whole Telos thing. They they were very they're very patient with with me. <laughs> Well, I fucked around on the surface of Telos, but trust me, they are hounding me. No, I believe you. I merely find such subtleties among the Sith to be strange. They have been known to practice deception. But in the histories, since the time of the Dark Lords Kuhn and Keldroma, and Revan and Malak, such subtleties have been rare. I will return to Kunda now and await the next transport. You may find me there if you have more questions. Alright, see, you. bye. So did you kill these guys? Were they already dead? Three dead mercenaries lay here, accompanied by signs of combat. Each of the mercenaries bear evidence they were killed by a lightsaber. Mmm. Targeting visor credits for a grenade. Azkul's orders. This data pad contains orders from Azkul, the leader of the mercenaries on Dantooine. Vrook has wandered into the Enclave alone. You will take a full squad and capture the Jedi alive. Bring him to our nook in the Kinrath Caves to await transport to Narshadar. He will fetch a fine bounty. Okay, so I'm assuming Vrook has dealt with this, this group. So some of the mercenaries did not make it. Naturally. I'm pretty sure... Funnily enough, I'm pretty sure this is Vrook as well, right? Is that... is that Vrook? Is like a statue? I think so. Uh, otherwise it's just another balding Jedi. They've probably got a few of those in the order, but... You know. There you go, we've checked out the Enclave. Dude has gone back to Kunda to wait for a ship. I can't figure out how to get... connect to this terminal. The, the children terminals are disconnected, so I don't think we're getting into I'm trying to figure out if we can get into this storage. It's like maybe now that I've gone into the Jedi uh, enclave, the Jedi area. Yeah, I might have to do something else. We will see, but for now. It's time to head to the Kinrath Cave, so we'll uh, we'll leave the Jedi Enclave and see what lies ahead. I guess now would be a good time to let this fella know in here that the uh, is that you? He can come out. <laughs> is it safe yet? Yes, the Lagrex are dead. You can come out now. You must be fierce with a blaster then. Give me a moment, I sort of jam the door a bit. Just don't leave. Just don't leave. Oh, hello. Thanks for saving me. I thought those leg wrecks had me for sure. Before you go, what were you doing down here? It's all Tapale's fault. Tapale. She said the entryway to the sublevel was safe enough. This area has hardly been explored. We barely got in here. And then everybody started going left and right, grabbing anything they could. It was every man for himself, and nobody was watching for Lagrex. Then, before you know it, we were under attack by those beasts. So salvagers were running every which way, and they left me to die. Why were you down here if it's so dangerous? All the easy pickings have been picked. Now everything that's worth more than a glass of Juma juice is long gone. So this level is about the only place that's left. And as you might have noticed, it's very dangerous down here. Almost nobody's managed to get anything from down here. Not that it matters. Almost nobody. Who's the almost? 
There was a group that managed to get in and got one of the biggest halls ever. Tapele said we could do that too, but they were a damn sight more organized than we were. And they've caused more problems dead than they ever did alive. How did they die? They were the first to really get anything from this damn level. They were so confident they went right back in. A bunch of us salvagers waited by the entrance. Only two of the four came back, and one died right away from his wounds. The other man was going to be rich, but then he picked a fight with Garavik. It wasn't much of a fight, and there was no one left. And that's the whole problem. How can dead people cause problems? Well, since every last one of them is dead, their find is sitting in the militia's headquarters. That's one of the biggest claims ever, and they won't give it to nobody. So people keep saying that they were owed by the dead salvagers, or that they're related. <laughs> but Zeron isn't an idiot. The only thing he's gonna believe is a will. And after some try to pass less than authentic ones off on him, now he'll only take a will and their personal effects. I have a will. <laughs> Everything's going to me, baby. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> How did they die? They were the first to really get anything from this damn... Oh, hang on. 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 I already went through that question. Uh, certainly. Um, what can you tell me about the leg wrecks? Oh, hang on. Did you find anything about uh, down here or something? No, I, I didn't get anything. Now I'd just like to leave. I just saved your life. I figure that's worth some honesty. I guess you're right. I grabbed a couple of things in the room we were in. I didn't want to tell you because you might make a claim for it. I need the credits. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Fair cop, son. I looted this place. I'm about to get some possessions on a wheel. That's okay. Why are you down here if it's so dangerous? I think we already asked. And then what can you tell me about the leg wrecks? They like tunnels. We never saw much of them except underground in the hilly regions. I guess to a leg wreck, these sub-levels must be like paradise, though. <laughs> there certainly are enough of them. You know, what's frightening is the beasts are getting smarter. I've heard they've even laid traps for us salvagers. Sounds crazy, but it's true. I actually have an idea, is I might offer to buy these things that he has, because they might be important. So I might check that option. They didn't seem that intelligent to me. It's complicated. They're, they're not always too smart. Just sometimes. <laughs> I'm not making this up. I've heard they've locked doors and even thrown grenades at people. Grenades! <laughs> Okay. Um, it's all tape police. We bear them. I'm just gonna do this again. Did you find anything? No, I, I didn't. I guess you're. Right, I could pay you for what you found. No, I hadn't thought of that. We could arrange something like that. That would work. I, I, I managed to grab three things. One's some sort of crystal, and the other looks like parts. For a lightsaber, maybe. I don't know. If you give me 1,300 credits, you can have it all. That'll be enough for me to get off this rock. No returns on this. You're stuck with what you buy. Can I see what it is first? Oh, it doesn't work that way. Maybe it's worth a lot more than 1,300 credits and you make off real good. Maybe it's a lot less than I make off real good. You can buy it from me here or at the salvager camp. I'll hold on to it for you. I owe you that much at least. Just don't take too long. All right, I'm going to buy it. I'll buy it. 1,300 credits. Here you go. Ha <laughs> ha. A pleasure doing business with you. And uh, now I can finally get passage back home. I hope that junk is worth it to you. I really do. I'm going to the salvager camp. It'll take some time to get things in order. Come visit if you like. But if you don't like what you bought, it isn't my problem. I know. That's how that works. I got lightsaber parts though. We got an advanced disrupting emitter, vibration lens, and an orange crystal. An orange one. Nice. Okay. I wonder if I. Th I wonder if we have all the parts we need. You guys are glitching through that. Yeah, <laughs> you guys could glitch through this, don't you? Because you, you can't walk around it. You just fucking. They try to walk through it, and they can't. They just pop right through it. Okay, so we rescued that guy. We got some lightsaber parts. We may have all the parts that we need. I think we might need 
Whoa, okay, hello. <laughs> uh, I think we might need something else. We will find out. Okay, team, you ready for a fight? Because we're about to have a fight. Um, I'm gonna... I don't even have an energy shield equipped, so let me just... Let me just do that real quick. I'll chuck the Achani shield on. Alright. You guys ready? Ready. Okay, the game... The game listened to me. That was weird. I hear you. Ah! 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 <laughs> why are they too? Why? Are they, oh! <laughs> I'm freaking myself out with the game right now, dude. <laughs> oh, that's that was weird. Oh, it's a good thing my character doesn't speak. I can't get freaked out a third time. All right, guys, stop being weird and speaking to me directly. We've got a fight to do. Oh, scared myself. Braved the perils of the sublevel. Yes. Many stories and artifacts in your possession. This is fortuitous for myself and associates. For now, not only do I get rich salvage, but an even richer bounty. Do not be making this difficult. Your death can be quite painless. This guy sucks, bro. <laughs> I don't suppose you like to negotiate a peaceful resolution to this situation, as I am currently wielding my energy shields ready for a fight? Negotiations are not possible. A deal has been made with anxious people. People you do not cross. And now, Jedi, we shall fight. You're gonna regret this one, baby. You're gonna regret this one, dude. Bada bing, bada bing, bada da 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 He got feared immediately. Ah! Get him! Ooh! Kill him! <laughs> Ooh! Kill him! Kriya's just standing here because I was. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Guys, I think we overreacted with the energy shields, but it was better to stay prepared. You never know. Sistech Static Blaster and a med pack. Nice. Ta -da! We handled it, team. Proud of you. We didn't even. Okay, we got a we got a blaster. Nice. And now, Jedi, we will fight. <laughs> oh no. Anyway, I mean, it's got fucked up. Alright, now we get out of here, so we can head back to the, um, the salvager camp. Should be a bunch of them here, yep. Squad! Salvager squad! Brought them all back. Hello team, alright, so, type of lie. I hear you saved Joran. Not many settlers would help us, salvagers. You're all right by me. I hear you saved Jora. I hear you saved. J I hear you saved. I hear you saved Jor. I hear you saved. I hear you saved Jora. How many? Ah, the traveler has returned. I hope the Dantooine is providing suitable distraction and entertainment for you. So, what should we talk about? Can you tell me about the planet? There isn't much to see around here. The planet is very lightly populated by settlers, mercenaries. And us. Okay. I think... I, I can't remember if I, we, I did this conversation with this guy or not. I'm pretty sure I did. I'm pretty sure I did. Already. I feel much better now, thanks to you. I don't think I thank you properly down there. I was pretty shaken. I really hope the Jedi salvage you bought was worth it. I meant what I said about no returns, though. I need the money to go home. But it's nice to see you again, regardless. What were you doing in the sublevel? It was all Tapale's fault. She said the entryway to the sublevel was safe enough. That area has hardly been explored. We barely got in there. Then everybody started going left and right, grabbing anything they could. It was every man for himself, and nobody was watching for Lagrex. Then, before you know it, we were under attack by those beasts. So salvagers were running every which way, and they left me to die. Ah, oh, then it just goes through the same thing. It just goes through the same stuff. Okay. I hear you saved Joran. You still lurking around here? Ah. 
Just go back to Kunda. You're not gonna find any Jedi artifacts here. Except the ones I'm selling. Okay. I'll be going now. If you're not going to listen to anybody, maybe you can help me out. The only place that has anything is the sublevel. And only a couple of fools have gone there. And they're now dead fools. Yeah, I'd like to do the decent thing and get their bodies and put them to rest. That hole isn't a fit place for a salvager. So, if you find a couple human corpses down there, just grab their gear and their bodies. I'll pay you 500 credits for each of them. Hey, conveniently, I am <clears throat> carrying these guys. You, you don't see them right now, but here, let me pull a couple of corpses out of my ass with the power of the Force. <laughs> Awareness that seems unusually generous of you. Less well, salvagers that are still here have to stick together. I found their bodies. You have? You managed to find them down there? You're tougher than you look. I have 1,000 credits for their bodies and their personal effects. Done. Deal. Here you go. You've proven very helpful. <laughs> I, I have something I have to do. Come back if you want to talk again. Interesting. Um, da -da -da -da. You return the two bodies to Darala. She gave you a reward. Hmm. Wasn't there something? Wasn't there something to do with a will? Maybe because we gave her the bodies and the personal effects, she's going to dispose of everything. It sounded suspicious when she just ran away. Jaren says you saved him down there. Next time you should ask for a reward. Jaren says you saved him down there. Okay. Next time you should ask for a reward. She went off this way. Where is this? Where does this go? This goes to the Kunda Plains. Um, I should check out the rest of this place. I'm pretty sure last time I had a look around here. I think this is just a closed area. No, it goes around here. Prepare All right. yourself. Let's go and explore the Kunda Plains. Guys, we got a different battle theme. Different battle theme. I'm happy about it. There we go. It's so funny that the Cath Hounds are stronger than the Lagrex in the in the Enclave. It's funny to think about. They are they are weaker. There we go. Just just leave Kriya to her own devices. She's uh She's, she's good. She knows. She knows what's up. Yeah, these get these bad boys are pretty tough. They're pretty tough. Oh, you gonna attack that target now? Just fine. I'll help out Handmaiden so she gets her little uh, bonus. We're eventually getting there. Slowly but slowly but surely, we are we are getting there. Let us end this. Oh. The wrong one. Kriya, you're doing a great job. You're just apparently tanking all the, the hits right now. Level up, baby. Lovely. Alright, I want to level up. Unarmed Specialist 4. It's going to come in handy, isn't it? Now, points to computer use. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just put some more points to computer use. We'll upgrade our, our big ones. Contention. Makashi lightsaber form. New lightsaber form unlocked. And another power. So, let's have a look. Okay, 
Okay, we've got stasis. We can't get stasis field yet. We've got force aura, force shield. Force valor, force resistance, energy resistance. First six points of energy damage with the maximum version. 20 points of damage. Force Barrier. First four points of damage. And it goes up to 15. Battle Meditation. I might go for Battle Meditation because that grants plus two to attack, to damage, to will, to all party members and the vitality point of the party. 20 seconds. And then it goes up to... Still 20 seconds, but it adds more stuff in regards to will saving. The final one is still 20 seconds, so it's a 20 second thing, which is still like a long time in, in battle. Yeah, let's, let's learn battle meditation. And go for that. Nice. Then I just need to actually remember to, uh, to use it. Yeah, cool. Battle meditation now. Heading down to a new area of the Kunda Plains. Dude, Mandalorians, okay. Let's go. Save. Ooh, it's a conversation. I was I was like, maybe they might just attack us immediately. Dude, Mandalorians. I can't wait for those salvagers to ship off this planet. He's Dude, pack. Yorovic is dangerous. He dual a mercenary. Smells like another salvager has come to our camp. Vacate, mud liquor. Don't make me tell you again. Ease off, Nalik. There's better sport than this one. I don't need help to take out a mud liquor. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Persuade. Like your friend said, I'm not a salvager. I'm a warrior like yourself. You fight in any wars? I fought in the Jedi Civil War. I guess you don't look like much of a salvager. Which side were you in the war? Sides don't matter much. We're all soldiers. Most of us mercenaries work with the Sith. Not too many Republic soldiers survive the war. Why did you want to fight me? I thought you were one of those useless salvagers. Or perhaps an uppity settler. I've had about enough of their attitude. So I figured blasting one of them would have done me some good. It's been a while since we've had work. What are you mercenaries up to? You were a soldier too. So you know I'm not going to answer you. <laughs> Force persuade. You want to answer my question? I, uh, I want to answer your question. Oh, my head. I don't know for sure. I hear rumors. I heard we got a secret job working with some powerful organization. No one tells me who. I know we're planning an attack soon, but I don't know against who. They aren't too far though, because we're expecting to attack soon. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> sorry. Could you repeat that? Are you, are you you're attacking soon, but you don't know against who? So did you want to say that a third time? <laughs> Any idea who you're working for? I told you what I know. Someone rich and powerful. We're not going to have to hit up settlers for food and supplies anymore. I don't feel so well. I feel dizzy. I gotta go now. Yep. Oh, off he goes. Goodbye. Can I help you? What are a bunch of Mandalorians doing on Dantooine? Just trying to make a living. At least there's still people in the galaxy who know our value. It's not glamorous work, but a man has to eat, right? I'll be going now. Okay. Isok. I'm not paid to talk to you. Move along. I'm not paid to talk to you. Move along. They sound like clones. They got like clone trooper type voices. It's very interesting. I wonder if, uh, I wonder if Episode 2, Attack of the Clones, had any influence on the Mandalorian's voices with uh, Jango Fett being introduced in the whole clone thing and Jango Fett, uh, you know, being a Mandalorian at that point in time, a bounty hunter, but also, you know, this was when they were doing that debate of is he or is he not a Mandalorian, etc, etc. They just sound different to the first game. Can I help you? Alright, let's have a chat to Dopak. You've wandered into the wrong camp. 
You got the look of a warrior, and we got all the blasters we need. If you're looking for work too, just take a trip spaceward. We don't need any more competition. Got it? I mean, have you seen my facial hair compared to yours, buddy? You you speak a big game there, bud, but I don't see anything on uh, your face except for that little soul patch of yours. You know, it's, it's embarrassing. It's almost like the main character of the first game that I played, you know? Gotta do better than that. Gotta grow this luscious beard. I heard you've been making trouble for the settlers. Okay, what do you think about Dantooine? So many options. Do you know anything about a thief? I don't think we need to do that anymore because we already know what's going on. What do you think about Dantooine? It's just another spaceport to me. We've been here too long for my tastes. And the settlers. Why choose Dantooine as your base? We have to live somewhere. Something those settlers don't seem to understand. That flaming administrator and her cath hound Zeron can't keep their noses out of our business. There's a natural order to things that they just don't seem to get. They'll learn. What are you planning to do? Just make sure these settlers know their place. The Republic isn't going to send a single trainee to help this planet. What about the settlers? It galls me to think we fought wars to protect Gizka like them. They don't do anything to help themselves, and they don't know how to... how to take responsibility. They're on their own, and either they should start working and stop whining, or else they're in for a tough ride. What do you think about the Administrator? She's got spirit, but she seems to focus most of her effort on trying to get us off this planet. Terena has to learn that we aren't moving. Can we talk about something else? I have time to kill, and talking about Dantooine just irritates me. I heard you've been making trouble for the Settlers. What if we do? They're practically begging to be pushed around. You've seen them, right? They're weak. Their skills may not lie solely in warfare, that isn't a failing. You sound like a flaming Jedi. I didn't just mean their weapons, I meant their character. They're very quick to blame everyone but themselves for their problems. So the galaxy has dealt them a bad hand. They should ante up and get back in the game. The administrator is different. Hmm, okay. Can you tell me about the mercenaries? Most of us are veterans of the Jedi Civil War. Some even fought in the Mandalorian Wars. A lot of soldiers have been looking for a place in the galaxy. The really skilled usually wind up here. Who's your leader? A sentient by the name of Azkul. He was an elite trooper for Malak during the Jedi Civil War. He knows how to wage war. The elite trooper Azkul. Okay. A sentient. Why haven't you been able to line up a job? We had a contract with the Republic, doing some work in the Outer Rim. But they scaled back, and we were some of the casualties. Now the Republic isn't hiring anymore. I hear they have no credits. So what do you do when you're between jobs? We find ways to divert ourselves. A lot of us find odd jobs. There are many more mercs around than what you see on Dantooine. We're spread out. Okay. I have time to kill. Okay. Interesting. I get tired of clearing out the cath hounds from our perimeter. The planes are just full of them. So there's some Mandalorians and some mercenaries just chilling out over this side, so that's where they hang out. And then we've got a another where are we? Okay. Got another exit point. This is gonna take us to the Kunda Plains as well. So let's have a look, where are we? So we're over here, from the Metale, the old Metale compound. There's our Ebon Hawk. That's the Enclave Courtyard. Okay. Kinrath, huh? Kinrath, huh? They've, they've moved from Kashyyyk. And they're, and they're still weak as hell. We got some speeders over there. Focus. Focus. I am focused. I'm the most focused I've ever been. Handmaiden, goddamn. Who's this? You don't mind if I uh, steal from you first? I have a habit of clearing out an area of items and stealing from people, apparently. <laughs> And then they go, hey, don't steal my stuff! And I'm like, 
you know what? That, fair enough. That makes sense. Sorry. <laughs> um, Sadie. What? You shouldn't sneak up on an old fella like that. You shouldn't be out of here anyway. This is Kinrath territory. <laughs> Kinrath? There was a time when seeing a Kinrath was a rare thing. They mostly were around some caves to the south of here. But now, they're everywhere. They're dangerous, too. More vicious than they used to be. I'd stay away from the eastern side of the plains. And now that I think about it, stay away from the west, too. The west is filled with cat hounds. Dantooine is in a sad state these days. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure the Kinrath, these ones, were chilling in that lightsaber cave in the first game. Why have things gotten so bad? Mostly because the Republic has left us to fend for ourselves. I gave the Republic the best years of my life, and I understand they're under pressure. But I think that they'd be able to spare at least something to help us out. All we get is sympathy. What do you need from the Republic? Some law and order, for one thing. Take what I'm doing right now. A couple weeks back, there was an accident here. One of the western fringe farmers was coming to Kund on his swoop with a load of atmospheric sensors. We found him dead and his swoop bike all banged up. I've come back a couple of times to try to figure out if that's what really happened. Why are you looking into it? I'm one of the Kunda militia. They need all the able bodies they can get. I was a Republic custom inspector before I came back home. Now I'm the closest thing the militia's got to an investigator. Do you suspect foul play? I do. The Kinrath are dangerous. But as long as you stay on your swoop bike, there's no way they should catch you. I've carefully searched this area and haven't found anything. So maybe our man just got sloppy. We really need those atmospheric sensors. I don't suppose you'd be willing to keep an eye out for something, hmm? Side quest. What's an atmospheric sensor? It's technical. I doubt you'd understand it. But I'd really appreciate your help. I doubt you'll be able to find any evidence of what happened here. But you might come across the atmospheric sensors. They have to be somewhere. If you find any of them, just come back here. I'll pay you a thousand credits for each one you can find, even if they're broken. Okay, a thousand credits for each atmospheric sensor? This is money, baby. Where, where could they be? No idea whatsoever. I figure it's a real long shot you'd ever spot one. But I also figure it wouldn't hurt to ask. See what I can do. Okay. Sensor search. Sadie is investigating the death of a farmer who is carrying atmospheric sensors to Kunda. He asks you to keep an eye out for anything related to the farmer's death, especially the sensors. A thousand credits each, whether it's broken or not. I'm going to search the planes for some sensors. And we don't know where or how, but we will we will get these bad boys, that's for sure. But we've got Kinrath roaming the planes instead of us being able to find them hidden in their caves. Because as we know, the mercenaries are chilling in the caves with Master Vrook. So we'll just... Mess with these air mess with these uh, enemies. This is crash site. Yeah. Handmaiden's just going in. If I'm ever like, oh I'll leave these alone. Handmaiden's like, nope. You fucking them up. Yes. Alright. We're gonna go this way, team, because I think that's dead end down there. Oh, that's no, actually, that's the dead end. Never mind. Okay, then we're going over this way. It's all, it's all a dead end, except for this way. Being on Dantooine again since the first game feels so weird. At least it doesn't feel. Um, doesn't feel like Telos, which is nice. So I'm, I'm interested in doing these these side quests for sure. All right, so we can go back in and talk about stuff. We dealt with that dude who tried to kill us for artifacts as well, so that didn't work out too well for it, did it? Ah, oh, of course. I have to go around to the main room. 
So while we're here, I'll check out and see if there's anything uh, to do in terms of an update for this place. Could look into potentially building a lightsaber if we have enough parts. And then we've also got the planes to search for uh, atmospheric sensors. Admiral, this is Mikal. I have found the exile. Ah, okay. No dialogue from Karth. Not even an, an acknowledged, just... <laughs> Mikhail. I knew that there was more to this dude. Oh. Hey, he's right there in front of the settler who's just talking to him. It's not smart to speak badly of Azkul and his mercenaries. Some of the most vocal have gone missing. Hello, disciple. Welcome back. Is there anything else I can do for you? Why are we being like... Oh, yeah, because I guess they're doing the sit back and see what happens approach, right? So I guess they've got eyes on us to see what we'll do. I wanted to ask you some more questions. What else would you like to know? Who the fuck are you, bro? What brought you to Dantooine? Is this the same stuff? Yeah, this is the same stuff, isn't it? Like you, I was looking for some tra- Yeah, it's all the same. Okay. Same dialogue. But now we just know more about- now we just know more about him. Any luck on getting my modulator back from Joran? I don't think anyone here will be able to help me. I found your thief. Excellent. How did you deal with Joran? Uh, your thief wasn't Joran or a salvager. It has to be someone near their camp, and no one else lives around them. You might be right, but I doubt it. The salvagers have been hit by this thief, too. Are they turning on their own? Typical. That's about all I know. I've never seen the thief, clearly. Do you have any idea who it is? A former Padawan. Uh, it was a young woman scarred by the war. I'll go with. Really? So it isn't a salvager. No, the war... The war affected different people different ways. Is she gonna be alright? It's hard to say. Healing is a difficult process. I guess I had it all wrong. I thought those salvagers were to blame. I... It, look, if you see her again, tell her maybe we can work something out. I need help on my farm. She's already shown she knows something about farming equipment. I know a lot of people that need a second chance right about now. Farming? Really? A man of your talents? Perhaps. About my reward? Here's your reward. Finally, I can get back to work. That's why it didn't clear the... That makes sense. That's why it didn't clear the thing. I forgot that it was tied to Sul Rule. So now it's there. Thief problem was taken care of. Nice. Okay. So that's done. Hello there. You have any new troubles, I hope. Um, seems like Dantooine has had a lot of trouble. <laughs> I don't even want to get into it. I don't know what we do without Administrator Adare. Okay, I think we've already gone through this as well. All right. Stay out of trouble now. Uh, we got the merchant dude in here, and then we've got Zeron in one of these rooms. Yeah. It's you again. It's you well, again. I, I, I figure you've got a reason for coming back. You want something? You want something? Can you tell me about the Kinrath job again? We have a small problem with Kinrath. Maybe you've already seen some of them. I'd take care of it. Yeah, well, I need to go to that cave anyway, so that's fine. That's all you want. And then... Some of the salvagers went deep into the room, but all the salvagers... Have... The whole thing makes me sick. But that was a fair fight. You want... Okay, I'll be going. I'll be going, Zeron, and I'll quickly have a chat to our administrator before we proceed to locate the Kinrath Cave. I hope that you haven't run into any difficulties you couldn't deal with. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Um, da -da -da -da, danger sub level. Really hate the Jedi. Okay. I was wondering if we would talk to her and let her know hey, by the way. Master Rook's been captured, he's at the Kinrath Cave, but no, it's mainly just kind of like surface level stuff, except for that little scene with the Disciple, um, who, like, and this happens a lot, 
uh, and I, I've gotten some criticism before it, where a character will say their name and I might pronounce it wrong after hearing it. And sometimes I'm, I'm bad with names occasionally where I actually need it to be repeated a few times to actually remember it. Uh, so it will go in one ear and out the other. I've gotten a lot better of that over time, especially with like the amount of effort I've gone to absorb information. I feel like I've playing video games in the way that I have for YouTube is like brain training almost, but like pronunciation sometimes I just lose it like it's weird so I, it's like uh, Mikkel like Mikhail or something like that okay like I've already forgotten uh, so <laughs> I just have to I just have to wait I just have to wait until uh, we get that uh, we get that again so we've got the Kunda planes over there I might go to the Ebon Hawk and I'm gonna have a chat with Baldur and see if we have the pieces that can craft a lightsaber. Now, while we may not have the color that we recalled to Atten, we might be wielding an orange <laughs> lightsaber with an orange crystal right now. And then I think going out to the Kinrath Cave, it might be a cool opportunity to switch out some party members, potentially. Oh, hello. We'll see how I feel about it. What's going on? Is the ship empty right now? Whoa, what the fuck? Why is everyone... Why is everyone sleeping? What the fuck? Oh! <gasps> Holy shit, okay, okay, shit's- Oh my god, okay, shit's getting real, dude. <laughs> Ooh, I was just gonna come and potentially reform a light table with Bao Alright, Alright, we're gonna find out- we're gonna find out who this character is, I'm so excited. Cool. Who are you? No words! Visus? Visus? Interesting. Okay. We're we're doing battle. We're doing battle, are we? Okay. Let me quickly put on a Um Man, I should know this by now. Would I use an energy shield or a melee shield for a lightsaber? My brain wants to say energy shield because it's like an energy weapon, but it's also a melee weapon. Quick, put the, put the shield on. Okay. What are we doing right now, man? Of course you saved. Okay. bad. I'm out of... okay, that's me. Uh, I got med packs. Do med packs too. Back, we're back in the fight. Whoa, what the fuck is going on? Oh, what the fuck? What was that? Dude, I was winning. Oh, okay, we're good. Holy shit. Did I, did I have all of my cool stuff cancelled? I think I had all of my cool stuff cancelled. 
So close. We're so close. Oh! My health just went down to nothing. What the fuck just happened? Dude, what the fuck just happened there? I had a whole thing I had what? She wasn't even moving, I saw damage numbers and I just lost all of my health and then just died. My character just stopped doing anything. What? No fucking way. Okay, we can do this. Alright, so it's we this is a fight you're supposed to win. That's good to know. For a second I thought I was almost just pushed into like a scripted loss. Because I just watched all my health disappear. What the hell? Alright. We got this. We got this. I'm gonna, hopefully I can... I'm just gonna try and see if I can make a manual save right now. <laughs> can I...? Okay. So, we just ask a question, nothing happens. Hello! Alright, let me just quickly... I'm just gonna make a brand new save real quick. Are you gonna let me... Can you let me save? Can you let me save real quick? Okay. Thank you. Alright, let's start this off right. So, I would like to... I gotta, I gotta focus up real quick. Let's do a burst of speed. Okay, battle meditation. Oh, I'm getting screwed. Oh god, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna die immediately. Okay. That was good. It wasn't even popping up with my queue of actions, so I didn't have a visual representation of what I was even doing. Alright. So if I start with that, that starts with combat, at least. Let's do the shield. I'm pretty sure the energy shield is actually the one that has saved me this whole time, so we're going to do that. Uh, I'm going to do some strength. I'm going to do some stamina. We're just, we're just buffing ourselves up at the moment. Giving ourselves the big boy buffs. Let's go with that for now. Give yourself those drugs. Get get cool stats. You got this, buddy. Look at all those, look at all those buffs, dude! <laughs> and you're still missing. Oh, that's so much damage, dude. So that comes in. I don't know. All right. Okay, we still have our shield. That's okay. You got it. We got this this time. We should just be out of. Yeah, we got this. No way we lose now. Come on. Nice. My lightsaber. Destroyed it. I yield, Master. It is as I heard through the Force. My life for yours. She's not talking to us. Is she, I don't think she's talking. She's talking. She's not talking to us, right? Is she? You pledge yourself to me? I have nothing to offer you. Hmm. Your strength is superior. It is as I felt. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. I thought she was talking to... Nihilus. Now I've seen everything. This woman... 
She's a Miraluka. I didn't think any were left in this part of the galaxy. Miraluka. So, Vices? And she's a Miraluka. What's a Miraluka? I heard they had a colony on the Midrim, almost halfway between Onderon and Dantooine. Then, it wasn't there anymore. The whole planet was wiped out. Nothing left alive. No one knows why. Maybe she knows. Well, it was a planet of her people. If they see through the Force, who knows? If they're all Force-sensitive, maybe they all saw something through the Force that we can't see, and they left before it happened. Or maybe it killed them. Huh. See through the Force? They claim to see on a higher plane than we do. You know, the whole Force thing makes me nervous. Is she going to be all right? Well, some of her wounds are pretty bad. Looks like she was already carrying her share of scars, though. I think she'll recover, yeah. Hmm. If her condition changes, let me know. I didn't want to hurt her. She is a threat to us. I trust her more than I trust you. I won't harm her if that's what you're asking. I am not asking that she be harmed or interrogated, but she is of the Sith, and she has attacked us once. She should not be allowed to walk freely on the ship. Hmm. I gained dark side points. Influence gained with vices. Did I gain dark side points because I said you pledged yourself to me? Is that what happened there? I was just trying to ask a question, dude. What the hell just happened? Okay. Um, fucking alright then. So we've got, uh, wait. Where's she at? Aston would be here, right? Yeah. I can check my security f system. Cargo hold. Handmaiden. Cockpit. Aston. Communications. Me. Engine room. T3. Exit ramp. Nobody. Garage. Bow. Main hold. Empty. Medical bay. Empty! Port dormitory, Korea, starboard dorm, Vices. What is what is happening? What is happening right now, dude? Storage and then storage compartment. Okay, so she's awake already. I think there was a s subtitle that appeared down the bottom ever so briefly, and I was silly and I missed it because I was too busy thinking what the fuck is going on uh this way i went the long way around i'm still trying to remember how to get to the no wait i just circled back to korea where are those where's that other dormitory down here <laughs> i'm assuming over here yeah this this one this is where mission used to be um okay you're awake already what's up my life for yours um Are you all right? I am able to serve. If we enter battle, I will fight and die alongside you. I'm I feel like I've just skipped a few chapters. What's happening? Like you haven't even told me your name. Have I like am I missing something here? It's it's it it feels like we've just jumped into this sort of uh master apprentice situation. I I I've missed a few chapters. Who sent you? I serve my master. I am an emissary. A scout. My master was aware of a disturbance in the Force, but was unaware of its nature. Of you. The disturbance is not something one feels from a living thing. There is little my master does not know. And that you eluded his sight for so long is significant. But I do not know why. 
How are you just chilling on the ship right now? Like, you've got your your crimson Sith lightsaber, you're, you're chilling out, and we're just fine with that? How did you find me? I felt you, heard you through the Force. It was like a sound at the edge of hearing. And when I heard it, I found I could not ignore it. I serve my master. My master was... There is little... I need to know where I can find your master. You cannot. His vessel roams the borders of known space. And even I do not know where he travels. Until he calls for me. Even if I could lead you to my master. I cannot permit you to find him. Until you are ready. Ready? If I bring you before my master, untested, without your potential realized, then you will be lost to me, and I cannot allow that to happen. It would be as if one brought fire to a paradise valley, shattered a cavern of rare crystal, or blinded a painter. Wow. My life is unimportant. Your master threatens more than just me. I cannot. I will not. I would die first and gladly to preserve you untouched, unharmed. Now that I have found you, I cannot sacrifice what I have found. What the fuck? If he is behind what has befallen the Jedi, then he must be stopped. You will meet my master. It is inevitable. I have seen it. And when you stand before him, and realize what you face, you must be prepared. Until then, I must protect you, help you, until you are ready. Why are you doing this for me? There's a, a greatness in you. A greatness that does not stem from the Force. It stems from who you are. And if my master does not understand you, cannot see you, then perhaps there is hope for us all. But if you seek to survive, then you must understand why this is so. If your master has trouble detecting me, how are you able to do it? There is much I see my master cannot. I fear it is because of my nature, the nature of my race. My people spend their lives seeing the galaxy, the energy streaming off stars, the growth of life, all things touched by the Force. Where are your people, your world, now? It is not a subject which I have spoken of since its destruction. How is it destroyed? The planet was not destroyed. It remains. It orbits, dead in space. But nothing lives on its surface. It echoes, but there's no one left to hear it. If your homeworld was destroyed, how did you survive? I am not certain I did. I was there when the planet died. To see everything around you extinguished. It was as if I was blinded. It was as if the Force had been bled from the world. Hmm. <laughs> the Earth... <laughs> okay. Everyone cried out at once. Everything suddenly went silent. I imagine there are worse deaths. Worse pain. But if there are, I do not know them. I was the only living thing remaining on the planet of Qatar. And my life, my agony, was a flicker in the darkness that was the planet. All that I had been connected to had been severed. You were the only survivor? Yes. But it was not survival. I still wonder what would have happened if I had died with the others. If perhaps there would have been some way to hide my presence from the galaxy. If only I had not felt that pain, that loss, as strongly as I did. But it could not be done. When the life was bled from the planet, and yet somehow I remained, my master came for me. He walked upon the surface of my dead world. And there, lying in the bodies of my race, 
He took me for his own, and he made me see. And for the first time, I saw the galaxy, and I wished to die. That's heavy. That is heavy shit right there. Uh, so, okay. Did your, did your master, is your monster responsible for what happened though? And then he was like, oh look, a survivor. Let me just take you with me. Like how Darth Vader in The Force Unleashed went to Kashyyyk and then was like, ooh, a, a, a child with the power to use the Force. I'll take you. He made you see. To this galaxy, my world, absent the currents and spectrums of the Force, was nothing but crude matter, rock, flesh, emptiness. He showed the flickering of life on other planets. The mass of beings that swarm through the empty places of the galaxy. To see such creatures, disconnected from themselves, their world, their place in it, unable to see the currents and how they affected everything around them. And why did your master show you this? He showed me to make me believe in his cause. He convinced me the galaxy, all life, must die. He fed upon its ugliness, its screaming, and in its place, he left silence. And where there was chaos, he brought stillness and order. So he wiped out your entire homeworld. Yeah. How did your master destroy your homeworld? To kill on such a scale, it's impossible. It was not a thing done with machines or weapons. The force is far more terrible. And it touches more lives than any machine can hope to slay. For everyone that feels the Force, strongly, deeply, each one feels and perceives it in their own way. You have strengths, whether you know it or not. And my master has his. His power is great. And it comes from hunger. He is a wound in the Force. More presence than flesh. And in his wake, Life dies, sacrificing itself to his hunger. And those who feel the Force strongly are beacons to his hunger. My people, my planet, would have been attacked in time. It was inevitable. Yet we could do nothing about it. So I'm like overwhelmed with information right now. So I think like just some information like went right through uh, one ear and out the other in terms of obviously the master being responsible and then I was like wait you're like your master would have destroyed your world it's just like I'm just like processing everything at the same time also being confused about the timeline of events that is happening in the game so far because it's like the pacing is very interesting I'm like ah I'm gonna go build a lightsaber la 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 chilling on Dantooine oh wait I'm under attack by a <laughs> by a Sith like it's it's like that kind of thing where it's just like I just like am not prepared for like the big events that come because I'm just like I'm just chilling <laughs> like just helping out people on Dantooine moving on trying to you know get some experience and stuff and then we get whacked with the big stuff and I'm like hold on wait a minute my pea brain wasn't ready to a, to to feast on this on this galaxy brain lore why did your master destroy Katar the Jedi the last council of the Jedi came to our world to meet in secret hmm they hoped that perhaps among our people, they could achieve the clarity to see what was striking them from the darkness of the galaxy. They succeeded, but only in bringing him from the outer regions. And Qatar, with my kind, with the Jedi upon its surface, could no longer be ignored. And my people died, and the Jedi died, and there was no one left, only me. Why did the Jedi meet on Qatar? They hoped to see the threat that had been stalking them, and they did. But they were unprepared for the magnitude of the threat. He attacked it because the Jedi had gone there? He cannot deny his hunger for long. And any gathering of Jedi is something he cannot long resist. And now that the Jedi are vanishing, I do not know what will happen. Perhaps he will grow strong enough to eradicate all life. Merely with his presence. So he literally... He literally feasts on... 
the living, even on, even on seemingly on Qatar, like can do it to an entire planet. Man is a Death Star that eats planets, and, and in a sense destroys them. Wisdom, or it may starve him, make him more desperate. I do not understand what you mean. Just thinking about out loud. Why did the Jedi meet in Qatar? They hoped to see the threat that had been stalking them. Yep. And they did. Okay. I had some other questions for you. I will answer what I can. Was your master the one sent to Paragus? Right, here we go. I am not familiar with the place you speak of. My master has not entered Republic space for some time. But there are others who may move more freely. Who may have been responsible for such an act of destruction. Hmm, what do you mean? There are many factions within the Sith, all seeking to take what little remains in the wake of the Jedi Civil War. Where one moves, it is not always known to the others. But their purpose is the same. The death of all Jedi. Everywhere. They believe you are the last of the Jedi, and their hatred of the Jedi unites them. All their eyes are upon you, and it is a terrible, quiet darkness that pursues you. Okay, so that at least confirms or clears up, like, what's going on is obviously uh, Darth Sion and Darth Nihilus, who we still have not been given names for in the game yet at this point, and even Vysus hasn't introduced herself. Um, they are aware of each other, because we've seen them in that cutscene with Kreia, but they're doing their own thing with the same goal in mind, just different ways of going about it, I suppose. So there you go. Forget it. I have other questions for you. I will answer what I can. Was your master behind the destruction of Paragus? My master did not cause the end of the planet you speak of. There are many factions within the Sith, all seeking to take what little remains in the... Where one moves, it is they believe you are the last of the Jedi. Okay. Forgive me, but before you go, I must ask... Why do you do this? Why do you seek to help me? Teach me? Um, like, I kind of didn't. Um, it's, like, I, I feel like, is this because I picked the option of you pledge yourself to me? Because it was a question. I was questioning it. I was like, oh, what the fuck's going on? But now we have this kind of. I'm yeah. I'm I'm a bit I'm a bit lost here. I will admit. I'm following along with the lore dump stuff, but I'm a bit confused about the circumstances that has brought us together here, and that how we're like. Why do you seek to help me and teach me? It's like, do I? Uh, is that is that what I'm doing? Because I believe you can be saved. I don't really know why. I try not to think about it. Yeah. Okay. I must warn you. If you weaken yourself for me. Then it will kill you. You have curious views for a Sith. There is more to the Sith than simply rage or slaughter. There are many kinds of hate. And all of them have the call of the dark side in them. The galaxy is filled with many such evils. And rarely have I seen anything else. What do you mean? I remember little of my homeworld before I entered my master's service. It is not as it was. There is little left of such memories. Or the planet itself. You've spoken enough, I must go. Very well. Perhaps we shall speak more of this at another time. But know this. I cannot allow you to weaken yourself for me. Light side points gained, influence gained. My life for yours. My life for yours. And we can teach techniques. I serve my master. My mother. I will end. I've heard your species is blind. How are you able to see? My people once had the power to perceive events. To see through the Force. That sight may manifest itself in many ways. And at times, I may affect the abilities of others to see as well. You sound as if that sight is lost to you. My sight has been damaged. What I have taught you, it is not the full extent of the perceptions of my people. Uh, Vices has a limited ability to see the Force. She has Foresight in first person mode. 
and can use it as a force power by spending force points. Oh. Force Saint first person mode. I will have to try that. My master, when he showed me my world, showed it to me as it is. It hurt. And since that moment, it has been difficult to perceive the force as I once did. But after traveling with you, I feel that perhaps there was a gift in it, hidden beneath the pain. Ah yes, after traveling with me. All of those travels that we have done. <laughs> yeah. When one endures, it gives hope to others and themselves. Only when one suffers do certain truths become evident. Both of the galaxy and of the self. And I feel you are an example of this. Okay. I know that the dialogue is like, we're traveling together, and I know that it was an influence-related thing, and we've had an influence go up twice now, but it's like, for me, personally, while I think this is really, really cool, and I love all of this stuff, I, I'm really liking our Sith enemies, I'm really liking the, the lore, the story, everything that's going on in this game is really, really cool. However, the pacing feels really bizarre at times, where I get lost. And I just go, hold on a minute, like, can we slow down a bit? Like, because it feels like it just, like, it, it, it is slow, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, and then there's all of this immediately all at once. And it, it's just a little bit jarring for me. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll roll with it. We'll roll with it. How do you see through the Force? It is difficult to explain. An influence failure. It is something that must be experienced. If it is to be understood. Okay, never mind. Oh, we've gained more influence. Hey! My life for yours. Can we can we do this again? <laughs> Questions. I will answer. Uh, how do you see through the force? It is difficult. To okay, didn't work. <laughs> but what we can do now is I think that we can talk about teaching techniques. My life for yours. I am prepared for whatever you wish to teach me. Fizes has I learned the effect that. mind ability. I shall practice what you have taught me. Oh, you can pass on actual force abilities that you know. How interesting. I am going to... What I want to do is I want to... I'm very curious about what has happened here. That I'm going to make a new save. And for my own curiosity, I want to find out uh, what has actually happened here with the whole pledging herself to me thing, because, like, with the dialogue choice, I wonder if that might influence things. Uh, so I'm just going to go through this again, um, just right now, just to check it, and then I want to see if it changes any dialogue, because that might have been me picking an option that I might have misinterpreted, so I just want to check that. My life or yours. So... I yield, Master, she says. Now, because she was saying Master, this is why I interpret it at first. I was like, oh, I thought she, she was maybe, like, speaking, not directly, but, like, indirectly to her Master. But we have, you pledge yourself to me, which is a question, question mark, you know? And what have you to offer more than your life? Arise, but do not attack me again, and I will not kill you. Let's say that. You must. The alternative is only another death. And I would rather die by your hands. There we go. Okay, we've got some we've got some stuff here. Instead of just you pledge yourself to me and then like it just goes into it. I will not kill a helpless opponent. I have nothing to offer you. Okay, and then it's this, and then she'll pass out. Superior. It is as I felt. Hmm, okay, so she still falls down into the med bay. This will give me a chance to see what this subtitle was, at least, that popped up, so... Now I've seen everything. It's a Miralaka, okay. Uh, is she gonna be alright? Well, Um, let me know if she awakens. Okay, now, what did this... What did this say? She is a threat to us. I am not... She should not be... You have scavenged apart from, uh... Vices Mars lightsaber scavenged a part from her saber and now she's just awake and that's it and then we're like why do you wish to teach me it feels like it, that's so that's the lightsaber focusing lens fixture it just feels like we skipped over it just feels like we skipped over a bunch you know 
it just feels like there was a, a, a maybe a little bit more needed there. Just I, I feel like we missed some chapters. So Vices Ma. I, w I, w I wish these characters would maybe introduce themselves, you know, so then I knew how to pronounce it. Our, my character doesn't know her name, but I know her name. You know what I mean? Um, and it's fine that the other characters, like for example, um, Nihilus and Sion haven't been named yet because they're still kind of like these looming threats. Vices is like, this is my name. You know what I mean? But we haven't, uh, we haven't got any of that, which is um, weird. It's it's weird. Um, and like handmaiden doesn't have a name it's just stuff like that <laughs> it's just that's just very strange so we have a uh we have a a, a sith apprentice we have a, a sith apprentice and i i don't know why we just do we just do but with that one guys we're going to bring this episode of knights of the old republic to to a close uh it was a it was a bit of a confusing one uh for me I will say, in terms of getting to this end point, where I'm like, I just wanted to construct a lightsaber, uh, not adopt a Sith Padawan, apparently. Who's going to, you know, want to make sure that we are ready before we can be presented towards Darth Nihilus. And that'll be her master, and that'll be, that'll be very interesting. I'm curious to see how this is going to develop. And like I said, I really, I really do enjoy this game, and I think it's it's a lot of fun. I, I love the Knights of the Old Republic. I love the Old Republic era um, instantly. It's it's very enjoyable. I love their perspectives on the light side and dark side, and how not everything is as it seems. It's not so black and white between the two of them, and we even got that in a bit of conversation here with Vices. Um, but again, there's more for us to to figure out and discover with these relationships so next time i seek to speak to Baudur, see if we can actually form this lightsaber i'll chat to everyone on the ship to see uh if they have opinions on vices as well so we'll see what happens there and then we can continue on dantooine so thank you so much for joining me for a very interesting episode of knights of the old republic and i'll see you next time